हेलो वेलकम टू हो टू सॉल्व दिस वेरी नाइस ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक इक्वेशन 81 वन टू द पावर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस एटी वन टू द पावर कॉज स्क्वायर एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स रेंज इज बिटवीन जीरो टू टू पाई रेडियंस और जीरो टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज so let's start by using this uh, trigonometric identity sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 if we move this uh, sin square x uh, to the right side then this becomes cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x so we replace this cos square x with this 1 minus sin square x like this we write this 81 to the power sin square x first 81 to the power sin square x plus 81 to the power we replace this cos square x with this 1 minus sin square x is equal to 30 now we can write this uh, 81 to the power sin squared x as 3 to the power 4 whole to the power this power sin squared x plus we write this 81 as 3 to the power 4 whole to the power this power 1 minus sin squared x equal to 30 now by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n this expression becomes 3 to the power 4 times sin squared x plus and this expression becomes 3 to the power 4 minus 4 times sin squared x is equal to 30 now here we have 4 times sin squared x and here we have 4 times sin squared x so we suppose that let 4 times sin squared x is equal to r and we substitute r in this equation then this equation becomes 3 to the power r plus 3 to the power 4 minus r is equal to 30 next 3 to the power r plus by using this property of exponents a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n this 3 to the power 4 minus r becomes 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power r is equal to 30 and from here we multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power r at left side we multiply by 3 to the power r so this 3 to the power r times 3 to the power r becomes 3 to the power r whole squared plus this 3 to the power r times 3 to the power 4 over 3 to the power r this 3 to the power r will be cancelled out with this 3 to the power r and here left 3 to the power 4 is equal to 30 times 3 to the power r now here we have 3 to the power r and here we have 3 to the power r so we suppose that let 3 to the power r is equal to p then this equation becomes p squared plus this 3 to the power 4 is same as 81 is equal to 30 times p and we move this 30p to the left side then this equation becomes p squared minus 30p plus 
is equal to 0. Next, P squared, we split this negative 30P as negative 27P minus 3P plus 81 is equal to 0. And from these two terms, we can factor out P in bracket left, P minus 27. And from these two terms, we can factor out negative 3 and in bracket left, P minus 27 is equal to 0. Now, this P minus 27 is a common factor. P minus 27 as a common factor and in bracket left, this P and this negative 3. P minus 3 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression P minus 27 is equal to 0 or this expression P minus 3 is equal to 0. From here, P is equal to 27 and from here, P is equal to 3. Now, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that 3 to the power r is equal to p. We have supposed that 3 to the power r is equal to p. In this equation, first we put this value of p 27. So, this equation becomes 3 to the power r is equal to 27 and 3 to the power r is equal to, we can write this 27 as 3 to the power 3 and if we compare base with the base and exponent with the exponent we conclude that r is equal to 3 now in this equation we put this value of p 3 like this 3 to the power r is equal to 3 and this 3 has power 1 by comparing base with the base and exponent with the exponent we found that r is equal to 1. So, we have value of r 3 and value of r 1. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 4 times sin squared x is equal to r. We have supposed that 4 times sin squared x is equal to r. Now, in this equation, first we put this value of r 3. Then this equation becomes 4 times sin squared x is equal to value of r 3. And if we divide both sides by 4, we get sin squared x is equal to 3 over 4. And if we take square of both sides, we get sine of x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 divided by 2. Now, in this equation, we put this value of r 1. Then this equation becomes 4 times sine squared x is equal to value of r 1. If we divide both sides by 4, then sin squared x will be equal to 1 divided by 4. And if we take square of both sides, then sin of x will be equal to plus or minus 1 over 2. Now, to find the values of x, we use this graph. Now, to find the values of x, we use this graph that ranges from 0 to 360 degrees when sine of x is equal to positive square root of 3 over 2 then this line intersects at two points here we get the value of x 60 degrees and here we get the value of x 120 degrees so we get two values of x from here 60 degrees and 120 degrees now, when sin of x is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2, then 
this line intersects at two points here we get the value of x 240 degrees and here we get the value of x 300 degrees so from here we get other two values of x 240 degrees and 300 degrees now when sine of x is equal to positive 1 over 2 then this line intersects at two points here the value is 30 and at here the value is 150 degrees so we get the other two values of x 30 degrees and 150 degrees now when sine of x is equal to negative 1 over 2 then this line intersects at two points here we get the value 210 degrees and here we get the value 330 degrees so we get other two values of x 210 degrees 330 degrees so these are the eight solutions of x